Hi, I'm Dr. Joshua Vogel with Carolina OBGYN, a division of Wilmington Health Associates, and I'm going to talk today about polycystic ovarian syndrome and fertility. One of the more common and disturbing problems for the large number of women with polycystic ovarian syndrome is difficulty getting pregnant. We try to avoid the term infertility and prefer to call it subfertility as most women out there with what we call infertility actually do have the potential to get pregnant. However, in the case of polycystic ovarian syndrome, the hallmark of this illness is lack uh, or absence of consistent ovulation. And obviously, without consistent ovulation, one is uh, much less likely to get pregnant. Most women with polycystic ovarian syndrome do ovulate occasionally and over time with persistence I have a decent chance of getting pregnant. That does not apply to all women with this illness but certainly many. However, that indeterminate time period can be extremely frustrating and many women do not wish to wait and seek assistance. Some basic subfertility testing is in order to check the semen analysis of the partner and to make sure the fallopian tubes are open. But once one has excluded other illnesses and diagnoses, uh, often the use of fertility drugs, uh, commonly used one called Clomid, can be very effective at successfully helping women with PCO to achieve pregnancy. This has been a discussion of polycystic ovarian syndrome and fertility.